Welcome to ATP Customs. This is my truck that's hauled over a thousand vehicles. It's probably closer to 2,000 actually. My 2008 Dodge Resistol Cummins Limited Edition, made for one year only. I only made 641 of these, and one came off the assembly line with a six speed. So if you can ever find that one, you better grab it. The Resistol Cowboy Hat Company combined with Dodge to make a limited edition cowboy hat looking truck. You get a $2,000 set of floor mats and uh, trying to find those ever again is uh, probably impossible. But it is a dually mega cab. I love this thing. I've never ever owned such a truck. And I have a lot of money into this thing. It was 82,000 brand new. And then they start adding all the extras. There's probably an additional, I think I stopped counting once I hit 20 grand under the hood. So let's go through it. We have a ton of stuff under the hood, uh, injectors and stage two intake, AFE intake, AFE exhaust. Uh, it's a four inch exhaust, so it's quiet in the truck, but really loud out of the truck if you ever get into it. It has a built transmission. I'm trying to remember what it is. It is an AFE triple disc converter in this thing. Oh, we have airbags. We have a fifth, hidden fifth wheel plate under there. All BDS shocks, BDS dual steering stabilizers, a pack brake uh, leveling kit. It has the 2009 upgraded steering. Have the track bar. Yes, I got some lights on it. Those are Performance World lights. The little ones absolutely suck. They won't work in any temperature below minus five. The fog lights, they break every single year on me. And I just keep replacing them. I'm sure there's a better option, but you know, when you're working, you gotta keep on going. Currently, I'm running uh, 265 General Grabber Studded this winter. I normally don't run studded tires. I run Dixie Pec 35 inch. I've been running those for the last couple years all year round. Absolutely love them, but they uh, make you want to rebuild your front end every two years. So I did run uh, Hankook Eye Pikes, and they were a much better tire in winter conditions, but they rode really rough. So I thought I'd try something new, and they've been good to me. I like them. Let's have a look inside. What are we stocking this thing? You're probably gonna find six sets of gloves throughout my truck, flashlights everywhere. Yes, the awesome floor mats. The Mini Max programmer. Uh, that has all custom built maps from PDR Diesel. Oh yes, it does have an intercooler too. Here's my toggle switches for my lights. Has 322,433 kilometers on it. I love the uh, triple cup holders. Yes, you always need a box of business cards from Vistaprint. The double console is awesome. CB radio, you need those on any logging roads. 6.7 Cummins, the first year of the engine brake. It has saved me a fortune in brakes. I probably haven't replaced the brakes in five years on this thing. Let's have a look in the back. We have lots of tools I always keep. Oh yes, these little lights pop out. We have tire puncture kits with battery cleaners, rubber cement, tape measure, pretty much everything, wire cutters. I keep lots of tools under there. I do use the Husky floor mats. We have CD case. We have a tool kit, a battery charger. Oh yeah, I usually keep my trailer battery right here, an extra one. We have a first aid kit, a winch controller, more gloves, paper towels, toilet paper. Yes, drumsticks. You gotta have drumsticks in your truck in case you need to twirl them sometimes. All right. We also have a $1,000 Pioneer head unit with GPS and rear camera. Love that thing. It's been so good to me. I've had no issues with it. Well, flashlight plug-in for charging your flashlights. I have a 10-inch bazooka tube behind the seat with an amp that is just fine for me. It pounds. It has front and rear DVD players that never get used. The back of this thing, what do I have? No point showing you, it's just a bunch of junk in the back. I have a dry box full of tie downs, toe straps, multiple shovels, uh, jump cables. It's loaded, all the options. It has a camera mounted in the rear license plate so I can see my hitch when I'm backing up to my trailer. And there you go. 
the truck that's hauled over a thousand. Pretty soon I can call it two thousand. You know, haul a couple hundred more, and then I can officially call it that because I lost count. But this is the best truck I've ever owned. Now you can do a lot of mods to this thing that you can't do to the newer trucks or the older ones. They, they just aren't the same at all. This thing has woken up massively. I beat a Lamborghini Gallardo with this thing. Makes somewhere between 42 and 45 pounds of boost. And what are the plans? I'm going to find uh, another work truck so that I can do this one up because I'm getting lots of rock chips. You're running 35s, the paint gets destroyed. So, I'm going to paint this thing. I would like to do an 8 inch BDS coilover kit. And then I'm undecided on wheels and tires, but I am going to go with 22s. And for tires, you're kind of limited. I'd like to go bigger than 37s, but I don't want to go too wide. I'd like to stick at 1250s. Not a lot of companies make a 38 with a 1250. So, I'm on the hunt for a good tire that I like better than the Dixie Pex, and I haven't found one yet. There you go. I'm not going to show you under the hood yet, because i got tricks under there. I'll show you one day when this thing's actually uh, in action. There you go, that's my 2008 Dodge Resistol. That is the heart of ATP. And uh, I don't know what I would ever do with this truck off the road. That would be it for ATP. I'm glad we don't have to worry about that, because I keep spending money on it, and this thing is like brand new. Just needs paint and more tires and lift. That'll come soon. Thanks for watching.